My name is Ian Gibson. I am from Higginham, Connecticut, and I run a organic practice vegetable and flower farm with my mother and a whole bevy of volunteers. We operate off two pieces of property. We have our headquarters, Base Farm, which is where we do uh, a lot of our high tunnel growing and uh, specialty crops and raised beds, and a lot of the flowers are grown here. And then we lease a piece of property from the Haddam Land Trust, which was vested for agriculture. That's where we grow a lot of our bulkier, uh, more space-dependent uh, field crops, like broccoli and squash and melons and peppers and eggplant. For us, we use a lot of techniques that require less chemical inputs and more cultural practices. We have solar panels here at the main farm to help power our coolers and a lot of the other equipment that we use. We also have a solar powered well pump uh, at our main field because it's a dry field, so that's huge. The difference of having water and not is, is exponential, as one would expect, but our production skyrocketed and our quality of our products skyrocketed uh, when we started using a solar well. Local agriculture is exponentially you know, more efficient in terms of its energy inputs and its, its equipment inputs. There is a little bit more elbow grease that's required in it, but typically people that go into local agriculture don't go into it because they're afraid of elbow grease. They go into it because they like the elbow grease. They like the work. They enjoy the work. And an ancillary benefit is they get to produce high quality food for their neighbors. And really that's what it's about. It's about producing food for your neighbors.